Okay, welcome back everybody to the Fairy Friends I played through by the Game Industrials. Uh, last time we fought Ethel and we now got her on our team at a very higher level than, than the rest of my party. So now we're heading to the Sutterian Tower again for the second time. But this time we're not going to be fighting, uh, the good news is we're not going to fight Bernard at the end of this, dun at the end of this dungeon. <laughs> But we will be fighting a fencer, of course, so near the end of this, so... Boo, though, uh, we'll get to that in a little bit. But, to the ones who played the game, uh, BSL mainly, <laughs> and I, <laughs> um, we know who it is, but we'll, we'll, uh, let you guys find out. <sighs> oh, oh my god, I can't believe they're doing this on Twitch. What? Pokemon 2000 is being streamed on is being yeah it's being played on Twitch. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pokemon 2000. That. Uh. The movie. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. they're just playing. The, oh, they're just doing the movie. I thought I was like, like they're playing the game or something like that. But never mind. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> It's where they meet up with uh, Lugia and the legendary birds. Oh, that one. Okay. Tracy <laughs> <laughs> had a sight there. Wow. I guess so. Yeah, I, I forgot. Um... And yeah, I forgot. Misty is a water Pokemon gym <laughs> leader. Yep, yeah, Scyther can't do a lot, but uh, give it enough of a headache, then you'll start using psychic moves. I had never understood why they, why they, uh, why Misty got Scyther. I mean, not Scyther, Psyduck. Good question. <laughs> it's been a long time, but I can't not remember. <laughs> the reason for that either. The Scyther was always useless. <laughs> Why does Ash have two water type Pokemons though? I know you have Squirrel and a Lapras. Was it Squirrel and Lapras? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's right. I don't know you got Squirrel before, and he got Lapras during the Orange, uh, I think the Orange League, I think he got that. Well, it's because I think he needed something that he could use Surf on, so I'm guessing that's why he has Yeah, that. he had to get one that loves Surf so uh, he can uh, fight that one, or uh, battle that one gym leader. For that event. So you get a Lapras for that one. <laughs> also showing off Ethel here since, like I said, one, she's my highest level character in the party, and two, uh... Ethel. <laughs> yeah, it's literally her name, Ethel. Oh, okay. She normally has to say, uh... A lot. You know, I actually thought about getting this game, but... Uh, I don't know. Um, well, maybe not this one for the PS3, but, um, Advent Dark Force is coming out for the PS4. And, well, that'll be coming in four months. So, if you're more interested in getting that one instead, you can. <laughs> yes, I'm keeping that Pippin Toasted BSL. <laughs> yeah, but it's just like. But it. What's it called? Fairy Fence of F Dark What? Advent, uh, Dark Force. Isn't that the sequel, or is it just, like, a remake? I'm pretty sure it's, a. Uh, uh, I think it's, uh, continuing on with the series. I know it, meant, it still mentions about the goddess and Val guy coming back yet again. But, um, there's new characters that are gonna be in the, uh, game. And some of the enemies from the, from this one are gonna be actually party members. For you huh. in um, the next game, and they did change it from having three party members out in this game to six in PS4. So they really made it, and it's more. Um, I think it's more. Um, I was about to say open world, but uh, I believe the dungeons are just a lot bigger. <laughs> you can you can explore a lot more now. Yeah, it looks a lot better. 
it, it's a bigger improvement than um I would say this one. Well, I mean, of course it would be because well, this is the first time they did this one, so I could see that. But um, <laughs> honestly, my friend um, shout out to Ultimate Randomizer. <laughs> I played it with him. I, I helped him out through this game the first time, and he literally beat this at about level 32, 33 of his party. Really? That it was surprisingly how I, I'm surprised how he beat it at that low of a level. Because he was almost, he was about out of SP, out of S, uh, out of SP uh, magic. So he had a, <laughs> so he got very lucky with it. <laughs> and for me, when I did on my Let's Play of it, I beat it around the 50, uh, 50 52. Uh, okay. I figured it was a more of a prop, more proper level to beat that game. But uh, yeah, he, he they could pretty much be at that low of a level if you can do it right. It's ridiculous, but it's the truth. <sighs> but yeah, if you prefer to wait for the one to come out on PS4, you can. Whichever you feel more comfortable with. I don't know, because I, I need to upgrade my PS4's hard drive. Well, I'll see you got that one. Uh, Victory 2... Um, Sinran Kagura has come out in, in about 17 days. Oh, God. Yeah, SO Versa. It's come out for PS4 or Vita, so I'm obviously going for PS4. <laughs> I, might just get it for... I might just get it for Vita. <laughs> okay, it'll be coming out uh, March 15th. Yeah, that way I can have more Vita games. <laughs> I ain't got about. Look at my videos right now, about seven. I can't tell how much I have, actually. My eighth beat it will be when, uh, uh, the, uh the new, uh, new blonde game. A uh, uh, blonde versus zombie, an empty versus zombies. It was a Mega, Megata Dimension? Mega Tat Dimension, blonde, Neptune versus zombies, that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's a little long name. <laughs> Mega Tag Dimension. Yep. Because I think they're sick with Mega Dimension now. Since since Victory 2 came out, they're going to sit with the Mega. They make us that hyper now. Um, they'll have their normal CPUs and candidates like before. They'll also have Plutia, Uzume, and Pishi. And another character that's actually going to be joining uh, that game too. I forgot her name, though. She'll be new to the group. She has like... I don't know. I forgot her name, but yeah, she'll be in it, though. <laughs> Basically, from the, the, I know about the main story is Blonde's trying to... Blonde is trying to make a movie. Oh, and, God. um... Then something happens, and a bunch of zombies start coming out of a uh, game industry. They're around, around the game industry school, and now they have to start fighting them. <laughs> and then fight these huge the zombie-like bosses later on. They pretty much fight throughout the game. So I'm like, okay, and when I look at it, it's definitely like Neptune near you. And it looks like it's in place like been Neptune near you, so that's kind of the basics of that. Except we're just gonna be fighting zombies this time. That's the only difference with this one. So yeah, that'll be fun. <laughs> <laughs> and the best part about this one is too, is this will be the first one that'll have, uh, you can play uh, online with other people. Oh, nice. Yeah, so this will be the very first one that uh, has that. So, that's uh, pretty nice. Be a nice change for them. And then we got... Uh, yeah, having Dark Force I mentioned about coming out in four months. Um, Wanski in a couple of months. Sinran Kagura in a couple of weeks. Uh, Star Fox Zero come out in April. Uh, that's all I know right now. <laughs> in April? I thought it comes out next month. Oh, Star Fox Zero? Yeah. No, I think it comes out around April. Oh. Unless uh, they change the date again. Okay, yeah, because I'm getting Pokemon Tournament on the 18th. Ah, okay. I... Of March. I almost thought about getting that. I I'm debating if I still want to get that. It looks really great, but I I'm not sure yet. Yeah, I just... I want to play my Wii U again, but I just don't... 
have the games that let that because I had of course I have games for it, but they're just not games I would want to play all the time. I know and, and, <laughs> and since the uh, uh, Pokemon tournament is going to be a fighting game, uh, I'm probably going to be playing it a lot because lately I've been playing a lot of fighting games lately, like Street Fighter Five, Killer Instinct, Tekken. Because I want to try and get good at those games. So, but at the same time, I want to try and have fun with those games too. I just kind of envy you that you have you're able to play Killer Instinct because uh, love well to play that game, but I don't rather not pay for an Xbox One for just one game. <laughs> If you have a PC powerful enough to, uh, that can run Killer Instinct, you could get it for the PC. It comes out sometime next month. I don't think my PC can handle it, so I think I'm pretty much out of luck. But I watch uh, Maximilian Dude on his channel on Killer Instinct and Street Fighter games as well. I mean, you could buy it and then just wait till you get like a new computer. It'll it'll most likely be on Steam, so. I do have Steam. I just don't know if I can uh, handle it. But uh, this is saving up for a computer. I'm kind of trying yeah, to save for, if you uh, bought it. Go ahead. Yeah, because if you actually bought it on Steam and you get a new computer, you can. Like, like let's say if you were to buy it now and you made your and you uh gone on Steam on your new computer, you could still download it on your new computer. That's true. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of trying to save it right now for a TV with a better, um, like, at least it has, like, 720 or 1080p oh, okay. on it, so I can, uh, so I have to keep going into the other room every time to record something with the Elgato. I can do it on mine, but it only goes up to 480p, so it'll support... You, Which, uh, you don't have to get like, cause I have a 32 inch TV. I use it as a second monitor though sometimes. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, and it only cost me around uh, it was 198 when I got it. Well, of course, the plus tax and everything. But oh, okay. Yeah, not bad for what size the TV is. I uh, just gotta make sure what TV you're getting, because this is a Vizio TV that I have. Ow. Uh, <laughs> yeah. hold your guys' thoughts. I'll be right back. Okay. And I'm alone, because I haven't heard BSL in a while. Pickle fish lips, sea weevil, Yorgi Smorgi. <laughs> random line from Patrick that always cracks me up every time I hear it for some reason, and that's uh, in the episode of Fox the Father. Oh, <laughs> 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 freaking ass, but for some the phone rings at his school, it's Patrick. He's like, you're a Mario. Let me get a let me get a large double olive du double <laughs> double everything basically. You working at Pizza Castle now? <laughs> Damn it, Patrick! I just ran into my old buddy Flash the Flounder. <laughs> yeah, he said something about community college. I'm like, Patrick, the fuck? Like. I He's just going to school today. So just, school ran, just ran into my old community college buddy, Flats. Like, Ooh, I, gotta, I gotta let you go, SpongeBob. Flats said he's gotta go kick somebody's butt. <laughs> Hello? Is this piece of castle? <laughs> <laughs> this rat is trying to let the boat that he has to get. It's not a piece of castle, you jackass. <laughs> it's a boating school. What the fuck? Is this a Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Is this a Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Is this a Krusty Krab? <laughs> no, this is Patrick. I am not a Krusty Krab. <laughs> uh, Patrick, that's the name of the restaurant. <laughs> what? Oh, 
fish piece. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Look at Patrick. Indeed. Complete oh wow, that, that armor looked really cool on Fang. Um, kind of considered uh, well, BSL called it first. Uh, kind of considered a mark a mark two uh form. It's a little more oh. of a, a little more upgraded. A oh, form, okay. Yeah, it's their it's it's when yeah, it's their uh, armor when they transform with their uh, the fencer transforms with their uh, fairy, which is uh, known as fair eyes. Okay. Yeah, that looked really cool on Fang. It is pretty cool. Uh, fun fact though, uh, on Steam, you can get uh, Fang's processor unit as a uh, for a uh, purple heart in Rebirth One as a DLC. I don't have that game. It's only it's only available though for for people who have seen though. I don't think I can actually run that game on my computer. I wouldn't be able to myself. It was is why I need to know if you can if you can uh run that game on the Vita TV because you have uh, the Yeah, I keep forgetting. I honestly keep forgetting. I'm busy I'm hanging out chatting with my friend early in the morning on Skype. Uh, since he lives in the UK. So I keep oh, forgetting uh, about that quite a lot. Quite a lot. <laughs> it's in my drawer. I can get it. I just keep forgetting it uh, about checking it all the time because I'm busy doing other things. And Ethel, how'd you notice before anyone else? Besides Fang. <laughs> Seriously? But yeah, so no one can take confusions. Pippin is the fencer, not the fairy. And Soji is the fairy, not the fencer. So there have been a lot of confusion there. <laughs> See, if we want to get Pippin on our team, we need to defeat him in battle. He's kind of a tank of a, of a fighter, of a boss for this one, but uh, he only has one bar of health, luckily, so... This won't be a problem. <laughs> well, we can see his fair eyes form, but we never get to show off yet. A huge mass with a bunch of swords in it. And he does have, like, golden fists in him. Uh... I do think we actually do get to show off uh, Ethel's fairy form, as well, fair eyes form as well later on in this part. And yeah, that's his element pretty much. He's in uh, electric attacks. That's his okay. element. The TR in her fair eyes form. Just got to feed. I just got to get the others in there. So, there we go. Now I got Fang in his, but we'll get Ethel's in hers in the next battle. Unfortunately, since we don't get, I don't get enough uh, enough energy. And once the energy's going green, uh, then I can start doing it, but until then I can't, so I'll just beat the crap out of Pippin for now. And... done. Easily. <sighs> okay, there we go. So, Pippin, come join our party. Pippin. Hold on, he, he, he's the dude with the purple hair and the glasses, right? Purple hair and glasses? Uh, no, that was, that was Soji. Oh, really? Okay. That, <laughs> I just mentioned it earlier. <laughs> Pippin is the, his defenser. The guy with the purple hair and glasses, Soji, is the fairy. Oh, and then Pippin's the, the, the cat-looking creature, right? Yeah, the cat... Yeah, Pippin is the... Uh, yeah, that's the cat creature. Uh, he's the oh. he's the he's the fencer. Yeah, everyone thought he was the fairy at first, but he's really a fencer. And he's also fights for the person that does comp uh, in victory, or er, in uh, Neptunia. Oh well. Wow. <laughs> and we get, and we get three fairies out. Uh, fairies out that one. Or or three furies basically in a way. So yeah, got a lot out of that from Pippin. And we're about to get a force battle. Uh, force up battle. Here. Well, no, I don't know how to describe it, but we we are gonna have to do a battle once this cutscene's over. We're gonna try to do it no matter what. 
That sucks. Like, you have to do forced battles. It's, I always thought those were stupid. I'm not sure if it's actually called a forced battle. I mean, I mean you pretty much are going to have to do this one no matter what. Either way. So I know a better way to describe it. <laughs> also, for what they're doing. Anyone play Old Maid before? <laughs> what? Old Maid? Card game. Yeah. I, I don't remember. I heard of it before many times. I just I don't think I ever got to play it before in my life. <laughs> I think if you like, had the Joker or something, then that would be. I think if you had the Joker in hand and they grab it from you, or if that's the only card in your hand, then I believe you're the old maid. So basically, you don't want to have the Joker in your hands. You want to have um, any other card but the Joker, then you win. <laughs> I believe that's the gist of it. I'm Fang, the great and powerful. I'm Fang, the great and powerful. And Fang. And Fang, uh, I would keep your mouth shut, are you? <laughs> yeah. Speak of the devil. Sherman? Do not resist. Yeah, Sherman, who's now. The leader of, Dor of the president now at Dorfa, after killing the president in like a couple seconds. <laughs> yeah, his not, he's not even a, the other guy wasn't even a fencer at all. I don't recall, but he did have a, a kind of, it looks like he had a big role at first, but uh, until Sherman took about that, that just changed everything. Uh, so. Yeah, we're going to have to fight a few soldiers for this battle about to come up. Luckily, our health and SP are all filled up once we got back here anyway, so we're actually okay. Mm. So this won't be that bad. It's just... Depend who you have on your team. Just be sure... Who you have on your team from the recent battle, that's pretty sure you're sticking with. Let's just start the battle already. <laughs> who, who cares whose life was Fane? Let's just start the battle. That was a game show back then. That was an old one, too. Jeez Louise. <laughs> now, there's a bunch of game shows back then for the old days. Um... I'm trying to think of some old ones from back then, like, uh... You guys seen, like, Double Dare and all that back then, right? Double Dare, Guts, Legend of the Temple. The Legend of the Temple is, like, one of my favorites. It's mainly at the end, where you get to go through the temple and try to get the uh, item that you have to get and bring it back before time's up. Arcade, Looks really cool. Make arcade, which I watch. Got to watch everybody suck at super cool to ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. It was bad then, though. That was like 20, 30 years ago when that game was out, so. <laughs> oh, but still, that game was, uh. Make arcade was fun. You even got to, uh. Do, like, those kind of games on the final, final run. I forgot what the three bosses were. Well, like Murloc or like Scorcha. Murloc, Scorcha, and Mongol. Mongol, that's it. Oh, right here, this pops up during the battle. I never had this pop up before because I beat the battle. I finished this faster than usual, but th this time I never. I didn't finish it that fast. This is something new. We didn't see. We take too long. So, yeah, that's just, just a little scene they show. And now, yeah, I never got to see that because it took me a little longer to finish this. And also, Ethel's Fair Ice Transformation now. And, uh, what the hell? Let's just use her best move. Or her. I got it. For going over Neptune, you have a EXE move, in my opinion. Which is a supernova. And whoosh. 
She fires her laser. <laughs> <laughs> did a lot of damage when it showed, but it did just enough to beat him. Uh, oh, I missed one. Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's uh, try that again. There we go. You get a lot of experience out of this one, too. So that's a nice game out, so you at least, at least guarantee some level ups. Everyone but Ethel, unfortunately. Damn it. But yeah, the reason Sherman... Oh, go ahead. Can't believe, can't believe Pikachu just used Thunderbolt on Zapdos and just a little spark of thunder from Zapdos hitting Pikachu and it knocked Pikachu down. Zapdos is a legendary Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, but Pikachu is an electric type, so it's, it's still shouldn't affect Pikachu that much. I guess it's his power. Maybe it's level. Maybe the level compared to them. Maybe that could be the difference. In the anime? Yeah, that's. Or well, the anime, I could see that, but um, in the game, um, not really. If you're playing the game of that, then I, I would say that would do it that much. But that's my view on it. It's funny how Meowth can actually talk like a human, but is able to, to translate what Pokemon are saying. Meowth, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I still remember that too. <laughs> Meowth was a pretty cool uh, Pokemon around. Hated Meowth, he was annoying. He can be annoying at times, but uh, it's cool that he can at least uh, be the only one to actually translate what Pokemon are actually saying. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm just randomly remembering the Pokemon episode, The Problem with Paris. Oh my god. Problem with Paris. When, uh, they're trying to train up this lady as Paris, but it's, their Paris is, like, really, really weak, so... Oh, uh, I remember that. I didn't... If I'm involved in the Paris sect, and Pikachu lost on purpose, so, uh... Paris can, uh, Paris sect or Paris can actually win. But I'm remembering one specific part. Pikachu, Thundershock, uh, 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 maybe just a TD Static Bolt. Oh, yeah. There's a little tiny shot and Paris got knocked out. <laughs> That's like, oh, come on. It was a <laughs> tiny little shock. <laughs> you should have withstand it, Dad. I mean, it took a tiny bit of damage. Nope. One of those tiny shock knockout. <laughs> wow, that Paris is really weak. I feel so sorry for it. <laughs> I feel so bad for that little Paris. <laughs> Poor thing. Oh, uh, fuck. So, if you can't explain what's going on here, we're about to head to the Kavari Desert again to find the faith drop that we need to revive the goddess. So, it seems like we're about to close in on the end now. Closing in on it now to finish it again. Thing you're not a genius. <laughs> I'm so genius when you won, but it's never going to happen. Uh, anyway, uh, we'll view that event for Lola next time. As we view that and then venture on to the Kavari Desert to proceed the fate drop. So until then, later, folks. Later. Later.